Hi, I'm Ali from Canatoris, and today I'm going to take you through how we actually get our van prepared and ready for a trip away. Great to see you all here again joining us on the channel. Behind me is our Avan A-liner and at the moment it's got a beautiful big cover on top of it. When we have the van in some long-term storage, so if we're not going out in say a month or any longer than a month, we'll put the cover on top of it and that will just protect it while it's, it's stored in the driveway. One thing we have included this time is one of these. It's rain this morning. So we have one of these. This is a um, solar panel and we have this one connected down in through where the electrical outlet is and it goes through and hooks up into the battery. So, yeah, so this solar panel that sits on the top comes through and it connects onto an Anderson plug and this Anderson plug is located <coughs> in where our electrical outlet goes. So obviously we pull this one out if we're hooking into a caravan power. This is our Anderson connection for the solar charger. And with these both just get pushed back in through when we're not using them for travel. So like I said, this sits on the top because the solar panel is being covered. This bit here, and you're probably wondering why this is here. Um, the inside of the cover is covered in this foam. However, parts of it have um, sort of snapped. They need to be fixed up with some duct tape. So uh, that's a job for later. The reason why we did that is that we've already gone through one battery because we let it go flat and um, basically died on us. So that is something that we will hook up now to our van and have that charging. Obviously, the van's got a solar charger panel on top, but when we have the cover on it, it's not gonna get any sun. <laughs> so we need one of these. There's actually been a little bit of talk on the Avan Facebook page about the black domes and vents melting and losing their um, their shape in the sun. So it'll be interesting when we take this off. Hopefully that hasn't happened to us. I've since found out that this is a problem with the newer model vans and the plastic that has been used on these hoods, domes and vents. If this is a problem that you experience, you need to contact Avan and see if you can get them replaced under warranty. And it is suggested that the white ones are the better option because they're made of harder plastics. This pretty much keeps the heat out, but we've also put in plastic containers to lift the top of it up, which helps the rain run off, uh, but also provides a little bit of circulation in underneath um, the panels. We've had a couple of 30 degree days here just in the last week. So it has gotten pretty hot inside the van, I'm sure. It was very hot outside. Um, so yes, we'll see what happens when we take the cover off here shortly um, as to how that's all looking. So this cover is clipped on as well. It goes up underneath the, the trailer. So we need to unhook those. There's one at the front, one at the back. And then there's one that runs right across underneath as well which we have unhooked so as you can see it's a pretty decent cover this one i don't know who the manufacturer is like i said when we bought the van we were very lucky it was an older couple and they took really good care of it and they had purchased this for their storage in their yard so i'm so. going to attempt to take the cover off here i'll probably get to a point where i have to be calling out to jeff but that's okay <laughs> Right, so that's that bit. Now we're going to pop it up.
So that pretty much covers the setup of the van. Now, when we have it in storage, we haven't placed the feet down at the back, but we do put some chocks in. So we've got a chock under each wheel, so a decent size. So we are on a bit of a slope here in our driveway. And the other thing that we will do is we'll pop down the front two feet. And we usually have a chock in front of that wheel which is there now <laughs> the domes are looking fine and uh, now that the panel's up we should be able to get a really good um, charge into that battery so it's a bit squishy here in our driveway good opportunity to do some whippersnipper when it goes out but let's have a look in the van so i'm not going to latch the door this i wish they will latch the door this will latch as one piece it holds the door together and this is the van inside so this is basically how we keep the van stored when it is away in the driveway i leave all of the curtains open and obviously lights off because they'll still work because of the battery um, so making sure that they are all turned off is really important. I leave the covering on the bed. I took the sheet off our last trip and all the pillowcases and stuff like that. So they'll go back on. I also give out the fridge itself a big wipeout and then I leave that ajar so it keeps itself nice and dry while um, or it dries out when it's not in use. Down in this bottom corner here, you'll notice the, the charging. So we're at 13.5 amps already. So that little solar panel that we had keeping that thing on charge has worked an absolute treat. So that's doing what it needs to be doing down there. We've got these cushions there for when the sides come down, just so it doesn't mark up the cabinets here or over on the other side on top of the window and this bit folds down on the other piece. Other things that we keep in here, um, we've got the annex, which we leave here because as soon as we get to the campsite, I open the door, drag the annex out. We put that on before we put the A-frame up. So we keep that there nice and handy so we can grab hold of that. The sides are stored underneath the bed because we don't have to have those out to put them on as we're putting the van up. Other things that we have down here are our shower tent, just some of the stuff that we leave on the um, the ground. There's some water down there, that's good, I didn't need to buy another one. Um, there's a game, some, the stuff for the toilet stays in here. On this side we've got the porta potty, there's an empty water container there. Um, but everything's looking good, it's smelling clean. Uh, no damage or anything to worry about here, so that's a good sign when you open the van and you see it like this. <clears throat> in terms of what's stored in what cupboard, we'll get all that organised when we get to our destination and I'll show you a little bit more of that. But That's basically how we store the van. When we get it back after we've been away, well, um, usually once we've got it up the driveway, which is always a big challenge, trying to reverse it in this narrow space, um, we give it a wash, drop it down, um, sorry, I get in, give everything a wipe down, um, usually strip the bed, wipe the fridge out, take any food out of the pantry cupboard that might be perishable or might not be able to withstand temperatures. Um, we leave some tin food in there, so hopefully that's still okay. As long as it hasn't warped or busted or anything like that, it should be fine. And then, yeah, try and leave everything else here 
if there's any other plates or bits and pieces that need to be taken in that perhaps we hadn't washed before we left our campsite, they'll come with us. But um, yeah, all our stuff is pretty much cleaned before we leave where we're staying or um, once we get back and I have it in the driveway. And that way, next trip, that's my work is it? That way, next trip, we um, basically just need to pop everything in the back of the car and throw a few things in here in terms of bedding and away we go. So yeah, looking forward to this next trip away. If there's anything else you'd like to know about um, set up or pack down, please ask in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So, um, we're still learning every time we do things as I'm sure you would be when you get your vans. So, so now I've got it closed. Actually, another tip, the, um, the locks that we have, I usually pop them in here where the fire extinguisher goes. They can go down in there. That way I always know where they are before we leave. Give this one a close and a lock. We've been having a bit of trouble with the, um, the door opening up as we've been traveling. It doesn't fly open, can't fly open because the aluminium that's um, on the roof keeps it comes down to about here so it keeps it all shut but um someone said that just tightening up the locks could help that so we'll have to do that before we go to so yeah last minute checks usually just the tire pressures just making sure that there's water in the tank but um all the these haven't moved or opened up at all so they're all pretty secure one thing i didn't mention before is that we don't leave up the van for long-term storage there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, obviously, sun damage is a big thing here in Australia. You leave a plastic chair out for any longer than about 12 months and the thing just turns to, um, yeah, it just gets brittle and just breaks up. So these can, can get brittle. So they are protected with the cover on in long term storage. And up the top, where you see the, the bungee cords, they call them. So if you're leaving it open, those bungee cords get exposed too and they're only made out of nylon sort of rope so any great length of time that they're out in the sun wouldn't be good for them either so at least when it's down and it's flat those bungee cords are a bit more protected um, otherwise you'd be replacing those quite often and then there's things like the rubber here above the the windows so that can get impacted by too much sun on rubber is not a good thing if you've ever experienced that with any sort of vehicle um, and the other thing we like to do is just clean off that solar panel. Dirty solar panels mean not very good um, energy efficiency. Down the front here we've got our two gas cylinders. The brakes obviously on so we make sure we check those. Everything's secure there before we leave. Um, but we'll get to the leaving after we've done the packing. And speaking of getting ready, I have to head down to Woolworths because I put in a pickup order <laughs> for all the stuff in the tape. Jeff said, you can go to Woolies and you can get all the food. And I went, yeah, yeah. And I didn't. I actually just went online and put a pickup order in because I hate shopping. <laughs> all right. So let's see what's next. So Jeff's already been busy collecting up a few supplies. We've got the, the big esky, which we put our food in. So when I get back from Woolies, it's going in the fridge, but it'll go in there tomorrow. And then um, obviously we're not taking a big thing of wash with us, so I'll have to go through the stool at some point later. The TV, pillowcase just to to find the sheets. Got that for grog, that for taking down the beach, that for drilling in the pegs for when we want to put the annex up. And Jeff's got a seat there, so I need to remember to get my seat. And obviously there's things already in the van itself, so. I don't need to worry too much about collecting all of that. We'll do a bit of a scout around later and see what else needs to go in. I should be pretty right, but I'll go get those sheets now. And um, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one when we start loading up the car, getting the van prepared to go out the driveway and um, yeah, and getting set up at the campsite. So see you in the next one.